Hi, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I wanted to talk to you today about a, a book that the Lord inspired me to write about visions and how you can get a free copy, so I'm going to kind of dive right into it. Then I'll tell you all about a little bit about the book. I saw a circle of water and fire roll down from heaven and out across the people in the church. As the fire hit them, it burned everything off them, and they were naked. They were covered in a gray-colored ash. Then I saw a river crystal clear flowing out over the people. The water washed them pure and clean. There was a gold path in front of them. On each side there was a large dirt field. Off in the distance you could see a golden cross. The people walked towards the cross with the Bible in their hand. A fierce dusty wind blew across the, the people. Some laid down their Bibles and were blown off the path into the dirt cloud. Others just kept walking to the cross. <clears throat> the cross had blood flowing from the sides of it. Once the people walked through the blood and the cross, on the other side angels were waiting with white robes for them to put on. 1 Corinthians 15, 57, 58, and Revelation 7, 14 through 17. The title of the book is called Visions and Writings of Promise, Hope, and a Future for America. You can email me at steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com, get a free copy, available on Amazon or Kindle if you want the digital version. The reason why I wrote the title, the, title, the Lord gave me the title of this book, Visions and Writings, of course, A Promise, Hope, and a Future for America, Jesus is not yet done with this country. Despite what the media says, despite all the divisiveness of this country, despite all the divisiveness of racism and just all the stuff that's going on. There's a grace dispensation we live in for a last day end time revival. That's what this book is all about. Reaching souls. Reaching souls for Jesus. For God. So, I can give you a perfect example of the grace dispensation that we're living under. Look up on YouTube, end time ministry, I mean end of the earth, end of the world, last days, anything related to that. You're going to find nuclear wars, earthquakes, tsunamis, even aliens invading the earth, war with Russia, all kinds of doom and gloom stuff. One of them that's even on there is already coming to pass. Economic collapse. This country is $20 trillion in debt. A couple months ago they had to pass a bill to raise the ceiling deficit, basically borrow more money. They're having to do that again, I think, in September. Obama's, during Obama administration, the government actually did shut down for five weeks. All in, uh, they call them unnecessary employees or something to that effect. And so, you know, it'll be like me or you having a twenty thousand dollar credit card debt, going to the bank and saying, "Hey, you know what? I can't pay my bills unless you borrow me more money." The bank's gonna laugh you out of that. So really, we're in a grace dispensation. If it wasn't for Jesus wanting to do what He wants to do, this country would already probably be a third world country at best. It would probably cease to exist, but God has a purpose. He sent His Son Jesus. That was His purpose and His plan to redeem mankind. So that's the message. One of the visions that I had that's not in this book is about the election. I had it two days after the election. It's all about Jesus and Jesus being in the center of America. And it's an awesome vision. Look it up on YouTube. If you like my videos, put a like on there. If you don't, if you dislike it, put a dislike, comment on it. Spread it, spread it through social media, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want to use. I would appreciate it. Thanks for your time. I'm going to keep this kind of short. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Once again, the title of the book is called Visions and Writings of Promise, Hope, and a Future for America. You can email me at steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com. Send me your information. I'll send you a free book. Thanks.